Hey everyone, welcome back to Training with Huddle. Today we'll be going over the flexible layout available to you in the new Huddle for American Football. To get started, open up a video. Here we'll see a few layouts available to us in the top right hand corner. First, we'll check out the watch layout. This gives us the video as the main portion of the screen. We can also use the pan and zoom feature to zoom in on the field. This can be great for team film sessions. Next, we'll check out the analyze layout. This gives us our tendencies and dynamic filters on the right hand side of the screen. To move these to the left, select the analyze button again. Here you'll see that we can move it to the left hand side of the screen or make it appear as the full screen. This gives us a full page of filters so that we can quickly apply them and get back to the video. Next is the breakdown layout. This includes our tendencies on the right hand side and the grid including all of our breakdown data below the video. To change this layout, select the breakdown button again. You'll see here that we can move the grid to the left or right side, and we can even hide the tendencies. This can make breaking down your video faster than ever. Next, we'll jump into the collaborate layout. This opens a chat box on the right hand side of the screen so that we can communicate with our team. Type the at symbol and a specific group of athletes or an athlete's name to tag them directly on this video. Provide the clip number and you can open up a dialogue with your athlete. This is great for film review outside of practice. Lastly, the navigate layout. This gives you a quick preview of each clip. You'll see here that our positive gains have green numbers where the negative plays have red numbers. This can help us quickly navigate to any point in the game and add specific moments to existing playlists. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss the latest how-to videos.